Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Sminify Podcast, episode number six we're on, and today we're joined by the one, the only, Exotic. What's up, man? How you doing? Pretty good. How about yourself? Hey, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. And happy Easter to everybody who's uh, listening to this right now. This is going to come out on Sunday, which is Easter, and I know it really doesn't feel like it's Easter because the world's been crazy recently, man. <laughs> how, yeah. how have you been holding up? Do you, like, know anybody with coronavirus, or...? I do not know anybody with it, fortunately. Because, like, I had some, I mean, I, people probably don't want to hear us talk about the coronavirus all that much. It's on the news everywhere, but, like, some, uh-huh. peop, some people in my stream were just saying they, like, knew multiple people who had it, and I was just like, wow. <laughs> and I'm just... It's very unfortunate. Yeah, and I'm just sitting out in, like, a small city, and it's, like, 15 minutes away from me now, but... It, yeah. Is it in your city, or how far away is it from you? It is, it is not in my city yet. Yeah, the Unifro is just a small town. Uh-huh, uh-huh. we're in a small town, too, and it's, like, I think there's actually one case in our county, though, so that's kind of scary. Yeah, so event it's making its way. It's ma- eventually mm-hmm. it's gonna get it's to making all its of us, way. But, yeah, you know it is what it is. But anyways, mm-hmm. the one and only exotic. And here's the thing, <laughs> I'm gonna talk about the YouTube algorithm because all right, so there's many other exotics out there, and your name is spelled like all capitals. You know, you got the O and the the one. Uh huh. And like, yeah. I constantly try to search you up on YouTube, and I forget like either the O or the one, and then it takes me to like ten other exotics. So the, the YouTube search algorithm is not doing you any justice, <laughs> and it's unfortunate, but. It is. It's unfortunate for me too, because there's a guy who's like his name is Smitty on YouTube, and he's got like four million subs. So uh-huh. it's gonna be a while before anybody <laughs> types in Smitty, and they'll be able to right. find my channel. Like originally, it was just called Smitty, but then I had to put the zero five eight just to make it more specific. Otherwise, that guy's channel just showed up. But <laughs> and then just yeah, drowned you. But anyways, That's fair. all right, we'll get into a question. I mean, I've been asked this question by a couple of people, and I've really been asking you because your YouTube channel is about the same size as mine, and. We're, uh-huh. we're going at the same we're growing at the same rate but you're probably gonna pass me here because you're going off but uh <laughs> the question i've been asked a lot is how do i grow a youtube channel how do i start out and what's the process of doing that what should i do to make my channel grow what's your advice on that so what i, I what i'd say is um just got you just got to brand correctly like brand get in correct. touch with other youtubers like we yes. are right now yeah i've had a few other sure. people who have came to my stream and like and like talk to me off stream as well mm-hmm. and uh a few of them have like over a thousand subs and other than that, I just like brand on different social media platforms such as TikTok, TikTok Instagram, yes. TikTok, TikTok's the way to go TikTok's nowadays. Get, yeah, man. That's the yeah. good thing about TikTok. It's so easy. Like everybody has a chance to go like viral on TikTok because mm-hmm. like nobody searches anything. It's all the for you page. So exactly. You gotta, it's you, crazy. Like, your TikTok, how many views is that thing at? It's at, I think it just barely hit 220,000 views. <laughs> 220,000 <laughs> views right there, guys. If you're starting a YouTube channel, go on TikTok. <laughs> Yeah, man, you, insane. you inspired me. I went on, started making TikToks, and I don't know. I mean, they, they get a couple hundred luck views. With it? Yeah. They get a couple hundred views, but I think they're all bots. So yeah, <laughs> but, I mean, it worked out for you at least. So that's good. <laughs> what, what, do you, what kind of content do you post? I just like uh, clip my videos and just put them. That's right. I just show there. my videos. That's, that's about it. And I just yeah. tell them what the video's about. Uh-huh. So it's, it's not really Sick. that interesting, but I just start out there. So yeah, yeah. That's definitely one piece of advice I agree with is like getting connections with people, like. I got mm-hmm. connections with you. I've got a couple other people. It's really important, I think, to just interact with your fan base and like your viewers, it de- which definitely is, is which is something that you do very well. I would have mm-hmm. to say, that's like that's the first thing I noticed about your live streams. Like you are responding to people's comments before I can even see them show up. I'm not even joking. That's great. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, that. I don't, I don't know how that's possible. Like, you <laughs> see me neither. You're, you're <laughs> responding to the comments before I even see them show up watching the stream. <laughs> I feel like when I stream, the comments show up. I'm reading them like five minutes late, but yeah, I applaud you for that. So you're doing that right. Thank you, appreciate it. And advertising, yeah, man, you gotta get the connections. Mm-hmm. I try to like find other small YouTubers and comment on their videos, and then we can mm-hmm. all collab and get connections going. But it's yeah, cool. I think for the most part, it's I agree cool. with you. I mean, because yeah. it's it, got a brand correctly. Yeah, yeah. There's a mm-hmm. lot of strategy behind it because like the YouTube search algorithm isn't doing you any justice. You're not gonna get any suggested videos, so which you, is gotta love YouTube. Yeah, it's difficult. They just show all the late night hosts and all the big mm-hmm. YouTubers. They really don't help their small content creators out at all. <laughs> the late night hosts, I see that all the time as well. <laughs> That's funny. That's all that <laughs> really is on do. trending is ESPN and the late night ho- late night hosts. Like, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I mean, it's I'm so not true. Wrong. Yeah, it's so true. like back in 2013, they would advertise their actual creators, but now they just got so corporate and so. I don't know, big, they just yeah. advertise those types of people, which is unfortunate. And but. see, that's one bad thing with me where I like try to stream, you know, I, I stream more than I post videos yeah. and like, it's so much easier to like grow on YouTube compared to like Twitch or anything else. But like YouTube kind of buries you as well. It's kind of a win, like win lose. Cause they like bury you. 
Yeah, yeah. Technically, did especially you, with you, the whole exotic situation. But <laughs> yeah, the search. Yeah. Did you say it was easier to grow on YouTube than Twitch? Right there. So, uh, yes. Really? Because I, I that. think that you really just disc- um. Let's see. So like, with Twitch, I think for example, Ninja, like when he was on Twitch, he still yeah. had like I think he's the most followed channel on there, and he's sixteen million followers. And yeah. I feel like there's a lot more people on YouTube, and YouTube's a lot easier to find different people compared to Twitch. Yeah. I think. Because like. I, the thing about me is like on Twitch, I feel like everybody's doing the exact same thing mm-hmm. and it's really hard to stand out on that platform. Cause you can find like thousands of people streaming Fortnite and it's really yeah. hard to stick out cause everybody's doing the same thing as you. Yeah. And so I, I just, I think it's a lot easier to, it's not easy to grow on YouTube at all, but I think it's easier in Twitch even. So that's my take. It that. pro- that's, that's nice. That's not, I, I agree with you there, but like, um, I don't know. I feel like with YouTube, there's a lot more people. So like, there's yeah, a lot more like, people YouTube. trying to do the same thing. Everybody's on YouTube. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's fair. Mm-hmm. Or, and uh, yeah, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's the thing, man. You got to make connections. Mm-hmm. And because like YouTube's not doing any justice. That's the thing I was saying. If I ever like, I don't know, if I somehow got a following, I would try to make something that would help small YouTubers. But right. I don't know how to do that because I wouldn't want to have like a shout out because I feel like that doesn't really do anything. Yeah. It'd have to be something else. But uh, it's going to be difficult. But that's something I want to I want to do if I ever, I don't know, get a following or something. But mm-hmm. That'd be cool. Yeah, just something to help small YouTube small creators because it's not easy at all. And I think there's a lot of like talent out there that's just not being recognized mm-hmm. on YouTube. And definitely, a lot definitely. Of people not getting the credit that they deserve. Mm-hmm. And yeah. All right. Cool. Another question I got for you. All right. What are your plans with your channel? Where are you going to take it? I see. Um, all right, yeah, yeah, you can respond. Yeah. Long term or short term? Uh, we can start with short term. <laughs> so, um plans for like 400 subscribers i want to like start a discord server yeah for sure and that's about yes. that's about all i know for short term yeah, that's but I, I want to hit a thousand by the end of the year a thousand by the end of the year okay if it might happen quicker but i want to that's my i mean at the goal. rate you're going it's going to happen a lot quicker now yeah hopefully but we'll, you, we'll see where it goes are you going to be able to grind that hard throughout the summer too um yes because i will just keep working in my same job and like school yeah, will be over yes, so I'll, I'll probably be able to grind harder which oh, is nice harder. for me yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> like that's the exact opposite for me. When summer comes, I'm gonna be struggling. I already know to find yeah. time to do stuff. Hopefully, you you figure it out though. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. Like, are you working currently? No, I'm gonna have. To, I I've never had a like a real job. Uh-huh. I, I'm a, I just I work on the family farm because my dad says if you're gonna live under my roof, you gotta work on my farm. Work on so, the farm. Yeah. So I have to do that. So, mm-hmm. but like that's gonna be a grind in the summer, and then I'm gonna have like summer league for basketball and stuff. And it's going to get really tough for me. And like, I want to keep making videos, but I might have to like just start live streaming in the summer. And I don't want to do yeah. that, to be honest. Hopefully yeah. you can keep up with the, the nice edits, like on the videos. You <laughs> yeah, those things take so long. I need to find a way I to bet. make those shorten up. But like, do you plan on keep making videos and getting better at that? Or Yeah. So like, I usually just post a one video a week for like the Minecraft series. Yeah. Yeah. But I want to start ma- like posting two videos and hopefully just go up from there. But like, I need to learn how to edit better because like it, it's definitely time consuming. Yeah, it is. It's definitely it, time it's consuming. So time, and like the thing for me is like the live streams pay off so much more. Uh huh. I think they like, do. Well, subs wise, I don't know, but like the thing about live streams, I think sometimes people just stop by and sub and then they leave forever and they never mm. come back, which I which is kind of worrying me. <laughs> I hope that's not <laughs> happening to my channel, but whereas yeah. videos, they take forever and it's <laughs> it's really just a grind. Like, you like whenever you post videos you like steadily go up like every day so i wonder how they're finding you mm-hmm. it's really cool to i always yeah. think about that yeah because well, like okay like the live streams kind of get people to see you and then the videos are mm-hmm. what make them stay something like that yeah probably yeah. probably that i mean what do you use to edit your videos i use adobe premiere adobe all premiere. the adobe products do you have to like didn't you say you use imovie yeah do you have to pay for premiere or... yeah so like it's usually like I think it's like two fifty a year, which sounds insane. Well, yeah, but like yeah, since yeah. I go to college, it like cuts in half, so I only pay like ten bucks a month yeah, or something. Like I've bought like a software to like make apps for phones, and that's like a couple hundred bucks a year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I can see those prices. It's yeah, kind of crazy though, but mm-hmm. but I definitely like Adobe a lot. Yeah, is it how like how long does it take you to make like a a video? It depends. Lately, it used to take me like six hours for 20 minutes but like now i can like usually do it in like two or three yeah, even though i don't throw in that much stuff into it but like yeah it's usually two or three hours yeah i'd say like six hours is probably where i'm at <laughs> yeah every like day five minute video not every day 
yeah it's 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 it really wears me out to be honest like mm-hmm. it, it's such a grind it, i it, bet it, it's yeah it's at least six hours and then i gotta get like a couple hours of footage and it, it really wears me out so i i'm starting to do live streams now and i'm really enjoying them because they're doing pretty well and they're, they're pretty fun too it's fun to interact with the audience yeah, you know? it is like if i can only do live streams or videos live streams i think for sure yeah <laughs> live streams for sure but like do you want to be like when like when the channel grows out like like blows up a little bit more do you want to be like considered a youtuber or a streamer you know that's the question and i don't want to right? be a streamer i don't want to be a streamer <laughs> that's for sure do you, mm-hmm. you i would assume you want to be a streamer probably more than a youtuber like a yeah but like i'd rather be both i've always wanted to be a youtuber and the whole streaming aspect it's just like I, I i enjoy it a lot just like interacting with the fans and it's a lot easier than making videos but like mm-hmm. i definitely would like rather do both i don't know yeah, that's probably, probably, I guess, a streamer. That's what I'm trying to do with my channel. Just do everything. Mm-hmm. Just so nobody expects one thing from me, but yeah, and just get a big different, different everything in on my channel, which yeah. is kind of problematic now because people are asking me like when I'm going to upload stuff, and I really don't know. So I should probably right. get a schedule figured out or something. That's what I've been trying to work on too, is getting a schedule. But I, yeah, like I don't know, <laughs> it really just goes on how I'm feeling. It's it's, it's really different. But mm-hmm. what are you thinking? For, are you going to try to like do YouTube as a career or? That's a hobby. Uh, that's the goal. That, that, that's the goal. Hopefully, hopefully that's one day I can make it a career. Mm-hmm. I've always wanted to, and I've officially like started trying to. So yeah, hopefully one day. Well, yeah, How I about you? If you stay on the grind. Yeah, you asked me. I was like, uh, well, the reason I came back to YouTube is because like I just like making videos, and mm-hmm. I went like a year without making a video, and it really just I got bored. <laughs> I just wanted to make a video. Yeah. And I just really enjoy putting myself out there. So I kind of started it as a hobby, mm-hmm. and I'd say it's still. A hobby. Uh, a hobby. I'm, t- I'm like, I'm focusing more on it over school right now, though. So yeah, priorities. Because <laughs> I think, priorities I think growing it. a YouTube channel is a lot more fun than doing schoolwork. So it definitely. Kind of, is. I mean, if it does blow up, I guess like, I'm interested in like film and stuff. So uh-huh. YouTube's kind of like film and stuff. So I don't know. Maybe I, I'm interested. We'll see. That'd though. be cool. We'll see if it does blow up. That'd be that'd be fun. Uh huh. And another thing didn't you said you is, to... oh, you got something what? to say. You're good. Yeah. Didn't you used to have the old channel that had like. 800 uh, subscribers or something? 570, but that... Oh, not bad. I don't know how we got those. I think... Okay, no. <laughs> I do know how we got those. My brother made one video in, like, 2013 uh-huh. called How to Get Modded Missions for GTA Five, mm-hmm. And it got, like, 98,000 views. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's... That, I think... I'm pretty sure that's where all the subs came from. They didn't actually come to see my terrible content that... <laughs> <laughs> that, that was like that was like old days YouTube though, huh? Yeah, man. Those days yeah. were so much simpler. Uh-huh. Right? It's Especially t- 2013 GTA 5. When are yeah, they going to make a new one? <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that coming out soon? GTA 6? I, I've heard about it. I've been hearing about it since like freshman year of high school. So <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, one of these years. years ago. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be a crazy launch though. That's going to definitely be like the biggest game ever at mm-hmm. launch. There's going to be so many people like that. What, Wait, what were you, you saying though? Uh, did you start YouTube back in 2013 or, or like a long time ago? Um, when did you start? So actually, yeah, back in the day, I think it was like 2013, 2014. Me and my friend had like a prank channel. Oh, there we go. And like we did that for like t- two or three months and then we just like stopped. <laughs> and then I, uh, last September, I just started up a channel up again because I just barely bought a computer. I was like, if I always wanted to try mm-hmm. YouTube, so might as well give it a shot. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Is, those, is the old then, channel still up? <laughs> Uh, I, I actually went through and deleted all the videos oh. when I like got to high school. I was so sad about it because yeah. they were so funny. I'd love to look back at them now, yeah, man. but they were so cringy. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got that too. But like, uh-huh. like people will pull my old videos up and like make fun of me and stuff. And I'm like, I get yeah. embarrassed, but I'm like, I don't care, man. I got videos of me from seven years ago. This is, it's hey. awesome just being able to see yourself that old. Honestly, that, that many years ago. But yeah, all right, but yeah, all right. I think Thank you were you. talking to me about balancing YouTube and school. Uh huh. What you saying that? Definitely was. And how, how's that been working out for you? So uh, it's been it's been going okay. I've usually been um pushing like you were saying pushing like school back to the last two days of the week or something. Yeah. <laughs> and <Okay>. then <laughs> just 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 trying to do all the the YouTube stuff and school at the same time, but it gets hard for sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you? So you're in like, college. You're in college first year. I am in college first year in college. What are you? So like all the generals or what are you going to college for? Yeah, all the generals. I I wanted to be a. I still want to be a psychologist if the, if the whole YouTube thing doesn't work out. So like mm-hmm. psychology, I have a lot of those classes, so it's pretty, yeah. pretty easy to balance, but yeah. All right, that's good. That's good. Good to have mm-hmm. the backup plan for sure. If that's right? in the back, is the YouTube the backup plan or what's the backup plan? Psychology, <laughs> it, which it, one is it? When I, when I first started YouTube back in September, it was YouTube as a backup and then January hit 
and I just like started grinding even more. And now I consider college a backup, which is probably yeah. not good, but yeah, <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. I wonder how much it takes on YouTube to like be able to make like a steady living off it. I wonder. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm probably. not sure. There's there's a lot of stats about it, but yeah, there's like sponsors and so there's a lot of stuff that goes into it, but probably mm-hmm. a lot more than what we've got now. But nevertheless, I'm still yeah. I'm still happy where I'm at. I'm really happy with where I, I'm at. I'm still happy. I'll always be happy with YouTube. I enjoy it, but yeah. like. If it could be a career, that'd be cool, you know? Like, the fact that for the first time in, like, my entire life, people are actually watching my videos, I'm happy with mm-hmm. that. <laughs> right? It's really cool. Like, going back to my old channel with 570 subs, if you look at the videos, they'll have, like, 100 views and, like, four likes. And, like, mm-hmm. Yeah. And, like, I had a lot more subs, but I feel like nobody was watching besides me and my friends, which doesn't mm-hmm. really matter at all. So now that I have less subs but more, like, views and stuff, it's it's fun. It's and, really cool to, like, see the nice comments on the videos and such. Yeah, man, that, that's so motivating. It really comments, is. Comments are the best. That's why I just keep telling people to comment. <laughs> Which is good because it gives me motivation to at least attempt to get that the Minecraft video out every Thursday. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> like I, I got to get better at editing and more. I need to get a, a nice schedule going for everything. Yeah, it's it's difficult. I've been working on that. And it is. Yeah. All right. Especially when the world's like going to crap. Yeah, it really. Is. <laughs> but like, it's yeah. interesting. <laughs> it is. I mean, I guess right now is probably like the prime time to be a content creator with everybody saying really at home though. And, with summer coming soon when everybody kind of just a lot of people are just going to play games all summer. <laughs> right. I mean, I think that was me back in like sixth grade. I don't think I ever did anything during the summer, <laughs> to be honest. Besides like right. play COD every single day. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, all right. Who inspires you to make YouTube videos? Ooh. Who do you YouTubers you look up to? Anybody inspires you in life? I don't really care. Just who do I look up to? Probably should have prepped you that's, that's a good question. <laughs> I, I don't watch. Well, um, well, yeah, actually, I uh, always like wanted to like, like subconsciously wanted to be like a YouTuber and like play video games for a living, you know, mm-hmm. and like, like the phase guys, I looked at them a lot just because like they like built that brand when they were 14 yeah. and now look what it is, which mm-hmm. is cool. And then another guy named uh, Alpha Gaming, I'm not sure if you heard of him, but like no. he uh, posts a bunch of stuff about streaming and like streaming tips and like tells you how to do it. And he also has a Twitch channel and he's like, he's really cool. He's a good guy. He lives in, uh, he's from where I am too. So like. Oh, there we go. Pretty motivating. Mm-hmm. Meet him someday. Right? That'd be sick. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, for hey, me, who, who inspires you? Uh, I would say, all right, Vanoss Gaming for his yeah. editing style. Everybody, I haven't, I don't even watch his videos anymore, but like just those Black Ops 2 videos that he used to make, you, you mm-hmm. know what I'm talking about. Those, those yeah, are yeah. good things. I, I'm inspired by that. I'm inspired by PewDiePie. Cause, Honestly. I mean, he's just so PewDiePie. chill. He's got the most subs and he just he can post whatever he wants and anybody will watch it and they'll enjoy it and it's right i really respect that about him and then the smith plays just because he was my oh clearly growing up with zombies clearly and i I didn't name my channel after him or anything like yeah i know that that's funny because like whenever i see like smith plays or you and they're recommended i'm not sure which one like who it is just because like i'll be like waking up and i'll see one of the videos (laughs) and i'll watch it yeah it's one or the other no my name came like my basketball coach used to call me smitty because my last name is schmidt Uh uh-huh and yeah that's cool i was like smitty and then I just had to change the numbers because the YouTube search algorithm. But well, like Smitty just fits you. Smitty, yeah. And I feel like, I like if it. you do, if you do blow up one day, I don't think the Smith plays will copyright you. So he'll be like, "Oh, <laughs> what, what do you do that?" I mean, that'd be kind of an honor getting get into beef Copyrighted. with my idol, <laughs> right? That'd be sick. I'd be like, "Oh, this Which is, is really this, cool. It's an accomplishment." Honestly, remember how like the zombies community back in the day was like really like low key was it I feel and like, now like uh, and then now like look at noah j456 like yeah he's have, have you seen his streams lately uh what does he play modern warfare yeah he plays modern warfare a lot and he I gets then i guess but what he like joined 100 thieves oh yeah that too what's he get for views or he's usually like 10 like 10k current Oof, that, that, <laughs> right so much to manage like i wish they made like 15 people and they, one guy was spamming the chat and i was like i can't even manage this <laughs> it's like which is like cool because like I, even if I do like make a big one day, I want to always like be able to like still reach out and interact with the audience and like not be like how yeah. the big streamers are, yeah. but like it gets hard at points. That's difficult because you like think that the big streamers once said that and then they realize that it's impossible to do that or right. Like maybe we could just be following in their footsteps. But yeah, honestly, don't forget where you came from. Forget the people who were here first. Really yeah, no. Man. That's what somebody said in my live stream. It's like it's good that there's only like 15 people watching, which is a lot, but it means that I can read all the comments and stuff. Which yeah, mm-hmm. I agree with that. Because if the chat's just scrolling constantly, then uh, it's difficult It'd to be interact. hard. You can just interact with the donations. That's about it. Yeah, <laughs> Unfortunately. pretty much. 
Yeah, it's, it gets difficult yeah. then. All right, who would you consider as your favorite YouTuber? Of all time. Um, sure. Or it could go by categories or something. I don't, really care. I don't know. It depends on the category. Well, uh, uh, um, let's start with the categories. Let's see. Vlogging. <laughs> vlogging. Um, currently, probably phase adapt i like the phase guys a lot phase i don't know if you've been watching any of them yeah uh, yeah they're in the new house now aren't they so mm -hmm. yeah they are in the new house yeah. mm -hmm. oh yeah. you want to know something cool real quick sorry what, i just gotta you? tell you, you got? but um there's a youtube studio app and i have it yeah and it tells you categories of when your videos have been suggested and mm -hmm. my video was suggested 0.5 percent of the time on that phase house video hey let's go i, I was let's go. even though it's point five. 0.5 percent of the time i was really excited about that a phase house video let's go <laughs> right? so many so many probably clicked honestly that's good stuff oh uh, let's uh -huh. see beauty <laughs> beauty oh i only uh i don't know uh james charles james charles <laughs> yeah james that's charles all i know <laughs> honestly his videos aren't that bad but <laughs> you're really not uh let's see we got beauty vlogging i don't know gaming one of the face guys gaming probably. yeah probably um i don't know there was an old guy that I used to watch like back when Minecraft was really popular back when I was like younger. Oh, His name you. was Paul Soros Jr. <laughs> Minecraft is still popular, but anyways. Oh yeah, always, <laughs> always. Minecraft still popular. But like, yeah, his name was Paul Soros Jr. He's probably one of my idols because he was really cool. I never heard of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's, he's, he was like low-key. He was like one of the first people to ever post Minecraft like content. Oh, he's really OG. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Yeah, he really is. He's really OG. You have, when, wait, when did you start playing Minecraft? What year would like, you say? 2011 i think yeah that's that's quite og <laughs> yeah i'm it probably is. somewhere in the 2012 <laughs> probably or something like that probably yeah oh, let's see we've got uh, beauty vlogging gaming i don't even know what else there is it's, it's <laughs> sports i don't know i don't i don't watch many sport youtubers uh, did you play any sports in high school or i played soccer in middle school that's about it soccer oh yeah, yeah. my school's soccer. not even big enough to have like a soccer team <laughs> <laughs> just town, basketball my town's got like 2,000 people so yeah Ooh, that's is that, that town has forty, so that's a little. And bit would smaller. you say that your town is small? Yes. All yes right. Well, I, I would say that my my town is very minuscule. Minuscule. Then that's why Do we you don't enjoy have... living in a small town. Um. Okay, it's got its perks. Like I can just yeah. go walk out in the backyard and just like shoot stuff. And uh -huh. <laughs> not that I ever do that, but I could if I wanted to. <laughs> or like I could just go like riding four wheelers around out in the backyard. <laughs> But that's that's really cool. Though. The other problem is we have like no fast food joints here at all. At like, all, we don't have like a Walmart or anything like a Walmart. Do you at least have like a McDonald's? No, absolutely no. Dang. The nearest McDonald's no. is like it's like an hour away. Oof. And we got we got a Subway like forty minutes away. That's the closest like <laughs> big name fast food restaurant that you'll find. I think off the top of my head, that's around my area. <laughs> I I, I kind of like like the small town vibes though. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's a little I, too small for my liking, but yeah, it's cool. Yeah, but it's cool. Yeah, me too. Cause I'm more of like, I don't really like to be around like large groups of people. Like, mm -hmm. I've been to the, like Chicago and just walking through there. I hated it so much. I walked mm -hmm. it through like downtown Chicago for a full day and it was just a terrible experience. <laughs> I, I don't like being by that many people. There's kind of a bunch of weirdos and <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Would you say your town's about the perfect size for you? Um, Yeah. 40, I've lived here like my whole life, so like, mm -hmm. it's all good. And they have like, one of the biggest schools in the state I live in, so like, it's nice. Ooh, one of Just went to school, cool. town I grew up in. Kind of wish I would have left for college, but yeah, it's nice living at home uh, still. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, how many people did you graduate with? How big was your class? Um, four hundred, five hundred. Jesus, that might be pushing it, but like, <laughs> that's like twenty five percent of your town. That so. is. <laughs> that is quarter yeah. of the town is graduating today. No, we have classes of like. Anywhere from like twenty six to like forty. That's insane. <laughs> That's how many much. people are like in your grade? Uh, well, I don't like thirty six probably. So like everybody knows each other. Yeah, ab yeah, absolutely everybody does. That'd be weird. Do like, did the teachers know all you guys? Uh, you yeah, for the most part. Like our yeah. school is like relatively small, relatively big compared to other like places. But like they knew all of us pretty much. That's I knew weird. like basically I everybody in school. Imagine not like knowing everybody in my class. In high school, and yeah. in college, I could see that. But like in high school, uh -huh. like you've been together for thirteen years, and <laughs> yeah, honestly, how far away is the nearest uh, college? Oh, let's see, eh, like fifty minutes probably. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, maybe closer. Yeah, I'd say about fifty minutes. I'll say. 
so that actually sparked a question. You said earlier that you weren't sure if you wanted to do YouTube as like a, a, a career. So like, what do you think your major would be in college if you did decide to go to college? That was a very good question. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Do you want to go to college? Yeah, I'm going to have to go to college for sure. Yeah. Just because. <laughs> I don't, just because, I don't know. I just exactly. go filter through the system like everybody else does. Yeah. I feel like the school system should be changed somehow, but I don't know how. But anyway. <laughs> I feel like those are like goals that everybody has. Like you either have to go to college or like join the military or something, you yeah. know? <laughs> I don't know. I feel, yeah, man, I really don't know what I want to do with my life. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like I got a lot of potential. I think I'm like really good at a couple things, but uh -huh. yeah, I honestly, I couldn't tell you to be honest. I'm a little bit older than you. So like, I didn't know until I was like a senior in high school. So like, well, that, I, still I, got I suppose that's coming up pretty soon for me too. Yeah, it is I coming up. up. Uh -huh. Oh man. I don't, that's only like a year and a couple months away till I graduate. <laughs> that, <laughs> Jesus. There's no rush. At least you didn't graduate this year and like not be able to walk, oh, you know? Oh my God, that would suck. That'd be terrible. <laughs> it would oh, be terrible. That'd be a terrible experience. Yeah, man. The people who are like graduating this year, they're like the cursed people mm -hmm. because they were born in like 2001 <laughs> during like 9 11 right. and now they don't even get to graduate. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's a big rip. Cursed. I don't know. I saw that on Facebook somewhere. Cursed. That's the right word to put it, I think. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, Let's see. I was going to say something about that. It's kind of interesting, too, because, like, the United States, like, shut down everything before the outbreak, like, really even, like, occurred. Yeah. And now it's, like, the fastest, like, it actually, re, like... It was a good like, it's, Yeah, it's, like, outbreaking faster than other countries, I think. Sure. I think, like, the rates for U.S., like, doubled everywhere else, but I'm not sure. Yeah. It, it was definitely a good decision still, though. Yeah. Because like, I, yeah. I remember I was sitting at school, and our superintendent went over the intercom and told us that all sports had been canceled for the rest of the year. I thought that was crazy. I thought that's as far as it was going to go. Mm -hmm. But then we get to the weekend and Sunday night, the governor's like, all right, school's canceled for a week. And I'm like, oh, all right, well, now we get a week off. And then mm -hmm. now we're probably canceled till the end of the year. So, How long ago did you start this mini YouTube channel? I started it at the end of 2018. In like, My goal was oh. I was going to grind Black Ops 4 and hope uh -huh. to get big during that time because I thought everybody would come back to the COD community. Right. But I ended up hosting like two videos and figuring out COD wasn't really that much fun. So I just mm -hmm. stopped. And I waited like a year and then I came back. When did I when did I come back to this channel? Like four weeks ago. And I Really? Just, yeah, it was like okay, maybe five, five or six weeks now at this point. That's insane. It's kind of like I came back like five years ago. I was like, all right. I've always wanted to just upload videos and try to get like big. And the problem is I've never been consistent. Mm -hmm. Because on my yeah. last channel, I, I uploaded like a couple videos a month on my old one, and that didn't do anything. But now you're like consistent; it's really paying yeah. off. And I just, I just, just made the commitment. I was like, all right, I'm just gonna upload every day. Let's see how this goes. And it's, and it's really cool. I have a quick question because I saw on your channel that you had the Minecraft server. Oh yeah. Is that on Bedrock? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, cool. I wasn't sure how that was working. Yeah. Well, That's are you gonna cool. get in there? <laughs> I, I might. I might have to hop in. Yeah. The problem is, is like, all right, it's on like Bedrock for consoles. So it's uh -huh. like Xbox One, PS4, like everybody can play, but like PS4 PC doesn't have realms yet, so servers, so we can't put it on a server yet because some people play on PS4, so we can only hold like eight people at once, oh. <laughs> which is not <laughs> many not at bad. all, especially oh. when like four or five of my friends want to get in, and I, I don't know, how uh -huh. to, I don't really want to say no to them, so that really only leaves like three or four spots, and it, it's tough. So once PS4 and that gets brings up oh another what, question, once PS4 gets realms, yeah, then we're gonna yeah. open it up and hopefully get like a lot more people in there. Mm -hmm. but yeah that just got me thinking because like you said your town is really small right so like how many people have you told about your youtube channel oh i feel like that's you the get... thing about me i don't like to tell people about like anything that i do that's... yeah because i, I kind of just like because then they like find my stuff and then they're kind of surprised by it and i kind of just i don't know like right it's right, kind of a lot huh like i've told like my brothers obviously and i told your my friends? friends who i make videos with and that's really about it i think do your parents know no <laughs> they don't no. They really don't? Well, they don't. No, they don't. I haven't told them. I mean, Interesting. Well, they brought it up because, like, I don't know, man. I just, like, get embarrassed when I talk about my YouTube channel. I don't know why. It, it is. It, 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 I definitely feel that. I, I've been there, too, like, before. And it's funny because, like, my mom is kind of funny with it. Because, like, when I told her I first hit 100 subscribers, she was like, ooh, such a big number. And I told her I hit 300. She's like, ooh. And People then uh, I told her I hit 200,000 views on TikTok. And she's like, ooh, 200,000 views. Will I was take? like, mom, are you? What will it take? <laughs> I was like, Mom, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, there's something about it. Like, old people are really just, not old people. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad, I just roasted you. But <laughs> they really just don't, like, understand, like, yeah. YouTube or anything. 
and like they like wanted to see my videos i was like no no you won't understand at all <laughs> honestly like i don't think my parents would understand a funny moments video or anything like that but yeah they because like yeah, that's fair they don't know about my channel for the most part at all like i had to like describe to my parents what streaming was <laughs> oh my god because <laughs> they like had no idea oh man it's gonna yeah. be so weird when we're old because we're actually gonna understand technology i think right it's insane or, to think about what it'll be like. Yeah, or what if the tech... Are we still going to be making memes when we're, like, 90? Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Or, like, we'll have, like, old meme formats and we'll be making fun of the new kids with their meme formats. Oh, I mean, honestly. We're definitely going to be boomers someday. I mean, it's just the cycle honestly, continues it, it, forever. It'll make, be a different kind of boomer, though, which will be interesting. Yeah, like, is the technology going to get so far that we even forget how to how to use it? I couldn't even picture that'd that. Be, that'd but, be, but it could that'd be cool. <laughs> how do you react when, like, people are, like, watching your videos right in front of you? Oh, Oh, that's a good one, actually. I, so my, uh, my my two friends from work love watching the Minecraft series. Yeah. And uh, I actually went over to like, hang out with them. And another friend we had over, we were all just sat down and watched the newest one I posted. And it was just, it was kind of awkward. It was really awkward to watch just because. You can just sit down with people and watch your videos? I mean, I oh. really didn't want to, but I did. And oh. I was like, ugh. I would and absolutely I, hate that. Yeah, it was, it was bad. Cause like, Trust me, it's bad. The whole time I'm just sitting there like. <laughs> getting like sweaty like thinking like they're probably critiquing this in their mind right now and they're gonna say something and then i'm just gonna because oh, I, I, I was like thinking about it too as i was watching i was like oh, i just spent like four hours yesterday editing this and i have to watch it again and, they're not and i was like oh. i know i was like there's so much better stuff i could have done <laughs> yeah that's they, they, were, they were really nice about it though they loved the video so it was nice yeah that's good that's good yeah keep the mm -hmm. minecraft series going <laughs> for sure all right for sure oh, well thank you <laughs> appreciate the feedback i haven't seen the redstone door yet is that coming not yet it, it's coming it's coming though. i suggest coming. He, he builds a redstone door but <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it done someday and i'm gonna be hyped i'll get it happens. done i need to get some more redstone some more redstone knowledge you're gonna watch you're gonna have to watch a tutorial video i'm gonna have to watch a few so many tutorials on the redstone <laughs> tutorial video on it but i don't right. <laughs> i'll watch that one yeah but that's great i feel like my friends don't understand how much i grind the videos that i yeah. make with them like i put so many hours into it and i feel like sometimes i just Ugh, they just I, I feel like sometimes they just say they don't like it and i'm just like oh god that really hurts <laughs> i feel like you have to like have to have a little bit of like knowledge and experience like understand completely you know like i feel like i understand completely like what you go through about it because like i've been there and like it's not i don't know yeah, how you do it make, make i cannot a daily like a full upload. day thing it's because right now <laughs> i have absolutely nothing to do <laughs> it's like hey at least you have that going on yeah yeah it does get like, busy too which is fun is your town on complete quarantine no we can we can roam around yeah, my mind's not either, and I feel like if my town was on quarantine, I'd probably go crazy because I cannot sit down and do one. Th I have to like edit and break like certain yeah, segments because yeah, yeah, I cannot yeah, do it all yeah, at once. Yeah, I got to take a break mm -hmm. like every hour, hour and a half for me. Mm -hmm. I think. Like I timed yeah. my last video, it was like, oh, it was like maybe six hours of editing with like hour and a half uh -huh. breaks every time, and then it was like two hours of recording though. So that <laughs> I think that's it, insane. Oh, for what video? I'm just curious about it. Oh, uh, it was the Call of the Dead video. If you watch that one. Did you did you like go and find gameplay from other like YouTubers or anything like oh. that? Like search for different gameplay? No, I didn't. But that takes even longer when I have to do. I that. bet. Uh, that's that what takes... I was gonna ask about because I bet that takes a long time. That is the worst. Oh, I hate doing that when I have to do that. Like, I'm like the opinion videos where I just like I don't know. I uh, like the Goodbye Zombies video or whatever whatever that video is called. Mm -hmm. That was a great video. Yeah. By thanks, the way, thanks. Yeah, uh -huh. I really grinded on that. <laughs> that was a great video. And like, I had to get so many so much footage from other people. That takes so long. That's I hate doing that so much. Ooh, that brings another question. Sorry, I feel like I'm asking more questions, no, but like, no, that's good. That's like, good. Um, so like, there's a YouTuber I know, and he uh, he like just barely got big, and he still edits his own videos because he loves like the style he puts in, and he couldn't have an editor do it. Mm -hmm. Do you think if you ever got big one day, do you think you'd be able to have an editor do it? That is a really really good question. Right. Because I just had somebody in my Discord saying that they wanted to edit my videos for me. Uh huh. And I don't know if you're listening right now, but I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna say no, because <laughs> I. I don't know, man. Editing, I kind of just enjoy it, but at the same time, I really don't like doing it. But and like I, you probably have like you love your style of editing, right? Like you feel like it's I yours. Suppose. Yeah. Because I listened to your last podcast, you said you were like a perfectionist. So like I feel like when you edit your yeah. videos, it's it's yeah. better. I got to go back through it. and I got to make sure everything's right. And it's just. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I suppose if I got like big enough someday, I would have to do that. But that's gonna have to be a long time until that happens. Right. Like I'm talking like millions if that ever happens but yeah <laughs> which is crazy to think about but it's good we got a podcast because if one of us ever like gets huge we can come back and listen to this and it's gonna it'd be cool it's gonna be really interesting which is why i suggest yeah. everybody starts a podcast if if they right. want to like so podcasts want. are fun 
yeah, this is my first one, but I'm, I'm, I'm having a good time with it. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if they go smooth, they are. But sometimes, mm-hmm. like last time, I ran out of stuff to say it like a half hour in, and I was like, holy boys, I got to stall for a half hour now. And <laughs> it just went terrible. I was disappointed in that. So, oh, I was going to say, oh, and I like somebody in my Discord, which by the way, yeah, you got to get the Discord going for sure. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. My, I was going to do my Discord at like a thousand, but my uh-huh. friend, thank you, Nacho. I mean, I could say he told me so. He told me to get it going and like right now, and it's gone a lot better than I thought it would. And it's is it? It's a great way to interact with people. Like people are actually which really is active cool. on it. And yeah, because it, that's what I want to use my Discord server for. Like I want to be able to interact with like the audience, and mm-hmm. I want to like have like a section for like video ideas, you know, yeah, challenge ideas what, yeah. to make it easier on me. Discord is so useful. Discord is so good. Right. I love it. Yeah. Don't, don't forget the meme section. That's good. <laughs> Gotta have the meme right. section. <laughs> I'm not going to like flex here, but I got the fan art section. Somebody drew my logo Ooh, for me. That is sick. I was like, what? You, you guys are crazy. And I'm going to definitely show that in a video. Thank you so much. That, that's a great flex, by I the way. Like, Holy... Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's then... okay. It's good. Okay, and then somebody also made like a Minecraft skin <laughs> that looks like my character. I was... Whoa. I was like, y'all, y'all are being way too nice, man. Like, <sighs> <laughs> all right, but yeah, I appreciate that stuff. If you guys are listening, thank you for making that. That was awesome. But anyway, mm. yeah, man. Yeah, Discord definitely helps with everything. It's very useful. So, um, someone actually asked me a question about this the other day because, like, they were asking if I'm if I'm ever gonna like make merch. Do you oh, think you'd ever make merch? Yeah, someday I suppose. Right. I gotta change. I gotta rebrand everything because, like, my logo is just. If you go on Google Images, you can find the exact everything in my logo. Yeah. So I gotta have. That, I gotta that's... go on Fiverr and have somebody make me a new logo or something. That, that's what I actually did because, like, oh, uh, yeah. I definitely. I've been trying to rebrand a lot because like mm-hmm. everything's from like the past when no one watched anything and now I'm actually like yeah, have like a decent off. audience. So yeah, yeah, your streams are going off, dude. Hey, thank it's you. I appreciate stuff. that. <laughs> I have a, too, a couple days. So I'm sorry. I got to, I got to catch up. It's okay. One. Sorry. It's fine. And I got to grind some Fortnite creative with you. Right. <laughs> Hop in the creative, <laughs> yeah, which is mom. one thing I actually want to talk about too. Cause like oh, man. I love doing it and I love playing creative, but like I don't want to be known as like the Fortnite yeah. creative person. Yeah, but sometimes was, playing with subs is a great way to go. Most of the time, you just like play Fortnite. I was wondering if you wanted to expand other games and COD, I guess too. And that's Minecraft. what I've been trying to do is expand. Yeah, you do have quite a few games in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I actually have like a Jedi Fallen Order series I never finished, and a Halo series I never finished because like it was before, <laughs> before January, before everything started taking off. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe I'll go back to it one day. Yeah, it's good to spread the content out like that. I think mm-hmm. maybe, actually, maybe it is. I don't really know. Is it beneficial? I. It it, it probably is. Cause, I like, feel like it touches a lot more. Like a, like a broader yeah. audience. Mm-hmm. But then if you upload too much of what people don't want, then they could want to leave. Yeah, that's that's fair. But so you gotta, you that's could, why that's, I make sure that Fortnite's always number one. Yeah, it's really difficult because like my motto, I just want to like upload everything and try to bring a whole bunch of communities together and we could just vibe. Mm-hmm. But like what if like YouTubers before me had that idea and then they just realized that it's not possible to do that. So they just went to one thing. I feel like it'd be okay. So it's really, I feel like. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do though. If I can make that work, hopefully. What games do you, you see? You play Roblox, Minecraft, Zombies. Uh, what else? Oh, is I played there? Mortal Kombat the other day. Mortal Kombat. How was that? <laughs> That's actually the first time I ever played it. I never played it before. I haven't even like watched gameplay on it, so I didn't really know what to expect. I knew it was gruesome and bloody, but it was it was pretty. You bad. know, be, you know, be really cool for like you for like a big break. What's that? I feel like whenever Treyarch releases the next game and like the zombies, if it does like the zombies community comes back, I feel like you'll be you'll be set. Oh man! I'm if you're not already nine. set. Yeah. I'm gonna be grinding zombies though. When new zombies comes out, that's all I'm gonna be posting. Which you wanna talk about that? Yeah, sure if you want to. I, I, I feel like uh I really hope they continue in somehow like the Aether storyline, uh, like uh, include the characters. I think it's time to just let it rest, man. Yeah. I think it's time to just let I mean I'm really disappointed that we didn't get like an actual good cutscene to uh-huh. to end it, but and, I don't know, man. I think it's just And like not a cartoon. It might be, yeah, that's a rip. It's cause they just cut they really just let or they just didn't put time into zombies at the end of Black Ops 4, so that's what we got. So they kind of short Which is really sad. Yeah, because we've been playing it for like 10 years, and that's how they ended it on us. Which is just amazing how like it went from like Nocturne and Toten to like an actual story, you know? Yeah, and it's like and, the like, most like, in depth storyline I've ever seen from a game. Honestly. It's and like so as you were saying, as you were saying in your video, like with like Easter eggs for charity and like how much yeah. they did mm-hmm. with zombies, it's really it's cool. crazy, man. The community was so good. I mean, we're still we're still here, kind of. Oh yeah, so <laughs> barely, <kinda. laughs> but yeah, yeah. Like literally, like zombies made like a new language. Like they have like mm-hmm. the keeper language and the apothecan language. <laughs> it's so it's really cool. And you know, Mr. Raffle Waffles. Uh huh. Oh yeah. And he, oh, 
his video. I actually, I actually have one of his posters hanging up in my room. Oh, there we go. Uh huh. That's good. Has stuff. like the Shadow Man, the yeah. Shadow it's Shadow Man and Doctor Monty like oh, yeah. talking to each other. You were gonna put that in the background of the webcam. <laughs> I need to. We gotta, we gotta get I need that to. In the background of the face cam. <laughs> that, that's one. That's actually one of the issues I have because like I stream from my room and I want like the background to look cool, like with, like a bunch of gaming stuff, you know. Yeah. So, like I really want to figure but, that out. But yeah. I don't know what to do. I want to get a face cam. That's what I want to do. I feel like that's a way to make my content better just to get a face cam. It, it would be. Cause and like, like, ever yeah. since I got a face cam and an actual mic, it's like, it I've helps. seen like, it helps better so numbers. much. Cause like, it I'll watch videos where people are doing stuff with a face cam and like half the time I'm just watching the face cam, I realize not even the content. Honestly. So yeah, like a face cam helps so much. And maybe and... you should like do like a face reveal for like 500, 400. Yeah, but the problem is coming up really quick. So maybe 500. Uh, the problem is my setup is like, I'm just sitting down in the basement and like I just sit in a recliner right. and I just play some games. It's not really like a good setup for a face cam. And then you have the you have the blue snowball you said, right? Yeah, I got a, I got a decent mic though, so at least I got that. But uh-huh. the face cam, I don't even know if I could coordinate that. That might be hard to set up. Do you plug it into your Xbox and record? Uh, let's see. I use the Elgato to hook up the Xbox to my PC. Oh, see, so do you have a capture card? Or my Mac? Yeah, I do. Oh, that's cool. And then I just hook my blue snowball up to my computer. And I'm running everything what? from like a just a little Mac, and it's 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 getting the job done, I guess. Heck yeah! But like thing is, I That's can't cool. even like have Streamlabs overlays show up on my streams because my computer can't handle it, so <laughs> it is limiting me. Because <laughs> like I don't know, some people said they would donate to me. Like I'm not gonna encourage people to donate to me, but if you want to, you can. So I right. tried to set up like a Streamlabs thing, and I started the stream, and my computer just couldn't handle it. So I was like, oh rip. <laughs> so, I I, for, I forgot how I got it, but I did something. I don't know. Oh, it's really. You had the same problem as me, and you got it to work. Mm-hmm. Or yeah, I, I mean, I, I it like works clearly. I think you know that because it yeah, works. It Thank you for donating, by the way. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but like, I have like, I think I have eight dollars in there, and I have no idea how to pull it out. I think I think you have to have twenty dollars to pull it out, but like, I can't get Streamlabs and PayPal like connected like with each other. Huh. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. All right. Here's here's one thing I want to do. All right. Yeah. Well, you kind of already talked about this, I guess, but we should set goals for our channel. Okay, I mean, let's, said, let's actually set some. You said a thousand before the end of the year, and I feel like that's kind I of. I thought that easy. was, I, yeah. At one point, I thought that was a stretch, and I feel like it's it's actually very easy now that you see the numbers you're you're going off. <laughs> I was thinking a thousand before summer. Yeah, that's what I told that, my friend. I was like, what what defines summer? Like May, June, uh, end of May, end of May, end of May. I could yeah. see it actually. No, I could I see it for you I'm, definitely. Yeah. I might be able Maybe. to, but like. Oh, one of the reasons why I was complaining about YouTube earlier is because YouTube live streams are like not like Twitch is definitely better for live like live streaming. Well, yeah, because like YouTube it's lives are like, this. yeah, yeah, but yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I feel like a thousand by beginning, middle, or end of summer would be cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm not. I don't know if I can set a goal for like like beginning of summer. I feel like that's kind of out of reach for me, but I could definitely see you doing it just because like uh-huh. you've been like doing it for like five months. Well, you're you know probably about to pass me subs <laughs> but uh yeah grinded. i don't know yeah, we'll, we'll we're, actually, we're actually like the exact same thing we've been growing at like cool. the exact same rate which is like when you, when you first passed me i was like whoa i was and like then, what are then, you doing? then you came back and now we're just like <laughs> neck and neck <laughs> it's cool though <laughs> hopefully we, we both awesome. just keep going up together yeah yeah it's really nice to have like somebody else in the exact same position pretty mm-hmm. much as you it is so yeah it's nice it's cool and uh oh how about like do you could you think you could set a goal for like concurrence watching your stream or is that could, um like hopefully hopefully i can get it to like by whenever like the whole thousand thing comes around hopefully i can get it to 100 i don't know about that because like that my highest concurrent i've ever had is 25 and i have a 300 right now so yeah 100 concurrence is quite a bit that is so, that'd be so cool. many people <laughs> it's so many people watching maybe, you maybe 50 75 it makes me nervous like playing minecraft building houses with like 15 people watching me i just feel like i'm just doing a terrible job constantly right <laughs> but i i, I, I used to feel that way but like now that I stream and like feel connected with most people who come to my stream. I feel okay. Yeah, they're just kind I of consider more, most of them my, I think my my friends pretty much. Like the people who are watching the Minecraft series that I'm doing, which is doing pretty well, uh-huh. I think they're just like more watching just for me to like talk to them instead of actual the gameplay. Which is which is good. What I've which is a problem I've ran into. I think. Not really a problem, but like most people who hop in my stream because I've done so many playing with subscribers, they usually just want to play with subscribers and don't want to just watch me, you know. Mm. So that's why I've been trying to cut back on the playing with subscribers mm. as much. I suppose I see that. Now. That could be a problem. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. Shoot. But like, yeah, man, and like 
ever since I started live streaming, like I posted like another well edited video and it didn't like, mm-hmm. it didn't perform very well, which is kind of making me nervous now. Because if my videos start not performing good, I'm going to, then that's tough. Yeah. That's what I want to be mainly known as is like somebody makes videos. Mm-hmm. Even though this summer I'm probably not going to be able to make videos at all, to be honest, because the grind is going like to be insane. Other things, unfortunately, but yeah, it's got, it's kind of got me worried, but I don't know. Keep the live streams going. Live streams are so much yeah. fun, though. That's the thing about them. They are. I they really them are so much. And, and like just ch- chilling there, and like one, and like the, one of like the gr- like greatest like feelings I've had in this whole YouTube thing is like being live and like for the first time like seeing someone subscribe and like seeing their name pop up on the screen. It's mm-hmm. supposed to like make them feel happy about it, but like it makes me yeah. feel happy about it, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's a really cool feeling. Yeah, I usually like so I don't have all the notifications cool. up, so like one time I just finished a stream and I went back and looked at my channel and I gained mm-hmm. like 19 subs and I was like, "Holy lord!" You're like, "Whoa, that is so many!" Mm-hmm. But then I was like, "But how many of those people are actually gonna stay?" And right. That's, that's where I was like, "Ooh, interesting." I guess I don't know. We'll see. Have you yeah. looked at your demographics at all? Um, like kind of. Like your I, the last time all? I checked, I was 100 percent male, and like that stuff, <laughs> like. I don't know yeah, graphics, I, I'm actually, I got to 1% female, so like 99% <laughs> male, so <laughs> we're excited about that. <laughs> and uh, also, it's funny because like my age range, 18 to 24 is like 97%, and then 3% is 44 through 60 or something. I think I'm actually really spread out. I mean, it could be people lying, but uh-huh. I think I've got percentages from all the age groups. But like, I know that my 18 through 24 is people saying they're 18, <laughs> just because yeah. like, I know who my audience is, you know? <laughs> yeah, and like countries, what country, you seen what countries you're in? Uh, yeah, I actually have United States, Denmark, UK, and Japan, I think, Japan. which is cool. I just mm-hmm. played with a sub from Ireland the other day. Oh, that's cool. And he ended up, like, lagging out. But we got to round 16 on Die Rise, so we got that done at least. Dang. And then... Die Rise. Love that map. <laughs> it's okay. That, that, how much sarcasm was that? I don't think it's a terrible uh, map. But... <laughs> it's not that bad. I think it gets more it's hate not... than, it, than it's deserved. Do you like Transit? I do now. I don't, like, love it, but I can play it. It's kind of fun. Yeah. I could have a fun moment on it. The whole right Victus storyline, in my opinion, was okay. It wasn't that well, bad. Because it was part very, of the main yeah. storyline, I guess I didn't really mind it. But mm-hmm. the chaos storyline in the new games, I just, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> That's tough. Nobody was looking. I like Coliseum. Me. That's about it. Nobody asked for that. Or nine, 9 or that one. Yeah. Yeah, 9. Yeah. I kind of granted that. I really didn't play Vo4 at all. Mm-hmm. Honest, unfortunately. Me neither. Which means I should probably go back and play those zombies maps now. Because like Dead of the Night and Ancient Evil, I never played those. Oh, which like, is cool i forgot dead of the night even existed exactly we should so, play that sometime <laughs> honestly yeah like, which i, I have it on i yeah, wouldn't yeah. have a clue even though yeah because you're on pc that's a rip but mm. we gotta get that to I, I, I know i do have a bo4 on xbox i just need to get that capture card um, and i got bo4 on ps4 that's a rip <laughs> oh we'll dang. find something we'll play we'll collaborate right. on something sometime i don't know right. i don't know when it'll be but <laughs> uh, that's the whole issue with Black Ops 3 on Zombies. I mean, on Black Ops 3 on PC. Well, if, that, if Black Ops 3 was cl- cross-platform, that game would just be, like, the best thing ever. I, I love Black Ops 3. You think I think Black Ops 3 Zombies is my favorite, honestly, which is oh, yeah. probably, uh, I think, a, like, not the most popular opinion. but I think that's pretty popular. I would agree with that 100%. Yeah. The Zombies was so good. <laughs> but what do you think about Black Ops 3 as a COD? Is it better than BO2? Uh, no. No way. I think it's close. I don't think so. I think it's close. You really man. think it's close? But it like, gave us so much content. It did. Black Ops 3 gave like, us so much. I enjoyed multiplayer on Black Ops 2 a lot more. It's like if yeah, you're that's true. the whole but the thing is, but I... like Black Ops 3 Zombies, I think it's better. Okay. Black just because Ops... every map was like an Easter egg base and it was really cool. Mm-hmm. And just the hype around the Zombies community at the time was just insane. It was, it was so much. I, oh, it was so like, good. Some people don't like so the complexity good. of Zombies, but honestly, I do because I think it makes it mm-hmm. a lot more fun to play and not just. Yeah. I've like watched the storyline like on it like ten different times. Mm, man, like the cutscenes like would give well. me chills, and like uh-huh. the no J clip gives me chills when he beats that Easter egg for the first time. You gave me cold chills, by the way, in yeah. that video. Yeah, man, I'm telling yeah. you, those clips. Yeah, <laughs> like when I first are. watched them to like record them. Yeah, I was getting chills, but after seeing them like a hundred times. What's your favorite Black Ops One zombies map? Well, that's tough. Black Ops One. Oh, geez. Um, uh, I really like Ascension and Shangri La. I've honestly. I like never played Ascension. I don't even know ever? how to play out. Like ever. I'm not gonna lie, I've never played it on Black Ops One. I only played on BO three, but like I love it. Yeah, yeah there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's one and of the maps Moon. I have to go back and replay because I like never played it ever. Moon is fun too though. Moon on Black Ops One is eh. It doesn't look very good, I don't think. But on Black Ops Three Black Ops Three it's beautiful. It's a great. It map. is. 
But anyway, okay. Well, my favorite zombies map. I'll just say Kino, just because it's 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 OG. Honestly, I love that. I love that. In second place, I was gonna say like Shangri La. <laughs> what was what was your first Call of Duty you played? All right, it was on the PS2. It was really. It might have been like one of the first. It was the big red one, uh-huh. or the finest hour. Uh, that's fair. It was. I got like both those at the same time. So whichever one of those came earlier. But I, I was kind of like a latecomer because like I God. played. I played like COD, like the original on the Xbox, but then I got an Xbox 360. And the first Black Ops game I ever played was Black Ops 2, so I missed Black Ops 1 really? completely. Huh. Therefore, I missed all like, the like modern warfares. Like, Shit. therefore, like whatever your like experiences on like for, like Kino would probably be my experiences on Town, just because I always played yeah, Town. I suppose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like, and like, but yeah. I didn't even have Black yeah. Ops 1, like my babysitter. We'd go over to her <laughs> house, and her little brother, he kind of he kind of gets all the like consoles and all the games, so. We'd go over uh-huh. to his house and we would just grind Black Ops One multiplayer and Heck Kino. Yeah. And I used to be scared of going out in the alley on Kino. <laughs> it was good stuff. Oh yeah, oh, man, that's great. Like Gears of War Three. Did you play Gears of War? I did not. Ooh, Gears of War Three is good stuff. What, what, what do you think about Halo? Never played it. Ooh, is that which is funny because like missing a part of my childhood there. Yeah, Halo. Halo is a good game. Let's see, that's Xbox Halo. exclusive, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I never played. I, it. That's what I love about. Uh, you said you had a PlayStation, right? Yeah. That's what I love about PlayStation. They have, like, a great exclusives, like Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, I played that. Yeah, I really enjoyed that, actually. The latest one or whatever it was called. I still, have, I still haven't played it. I wish I could. Oh, it was good. <laughs> almost, bought a, almost bought a PlayStation just to buy that, yeah, just to just play that game. Spider-Man. Well, the thing is, I yeah. played it for, like, a week, and then I was just done. Because I mm-hmm. finished the story, and I was like, all right, well, now there's, like, nothing to do. Mm-hmm. So I don't think I'd buy an entire console just for that. Right. But Black Ops 2, I bought the Xbox One just for, like, Black Ops 2. And backwards compatibility, and right? Play with friends. <sighs> That's really about it. Origins, Origins and is Origins. such a good map. Ooh, what is your favorite zombies map ever? It's probably. I spent probably most of my time on like Mob of the Dead Town and Origins, but like, I love the Rising Drug as well. <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably. It's like a tie between Origins and the Rising Drug. Not gonna oh, lie. Dang it! I don't like the Rising Drug at all. At all? Okay, I, I, can, I can play it, but like, I don't know. I never played it. And that's maybe because like, like the first time I played it, I didn't like it or I don't know, but I've just never. So like my whole zombies thing was kind of weird. Like I, I like played it and it didn't get in touch with the zombies community until I watched Ali A play the rising Druck, And then I started watching really? Smith plays Noah J and Ali all of them. Ali A brought you and, in. <laughs> yeah. Which is funny. Cause he played with, with Dalek, Mr. Dalek. JD. Really? Hmm, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. So yeah, I just love the rising Druck now. Really? That's interesting. Yeah. I would say uh-huh. from black ops three, it's gotta be like Gorod. Is the best map. Oh, I love that map too, though. Gorod is so good. Because like the Rising Drug, I missed the, the hype for it, but then I was in the zombies community to enable like in order to watch the Gorod hype, and that was and that sick. That was very hype. Yeah, that because like w- mm-hmm. when it dropped on PlayStation before Xbox, I was always so mad about it. But like, okay, yeah, that's that's, that's actually the reason probably why I got a PS4 is because right. a month of <laughs> DLCs. That's crazy. But now it, it was it was so. But like I loved watching like just all of them play it. Yeah. The zombies community is like probably one of the greatest things. It was ever. Such good times. It was. And now it's just. And then it's gone. Revelations hype. It's gone. That was hype. That was very hype, but the map was not the best. But. And then Zombies Chronicles hype. And then the Zombies Chronicles hype, and then. That's why Black Ops Three charity hype, and then. Right? Oh, that was such Black Ops Three might then, be and one then of the best parties. Came, and the hype was there, and then it just died. Because like I don't know, they kind of like just had it going, and they like. Well, what are your thoughts on Dr. Toten? Like, Call of the Dead being remastered for the final map? Never played it. Oh, oh that's that's right. I think we never, talked about that. Never played it. I, yeah. Like, I downloaded it, was it okay. and I was hyped for it. And then I just never played it for some reason. I don't know why. But, I, like, half the reason why I loved it, because all my friends played zombies at the same time. Too. You know, when Todd came around, either all of them were, like, at college or different places or, like, just didn't play zombies anymore. So, like, Tog wasn't as good as, like, what it was when I was, like, a kid. But, like, other than that, Call of the Dead remaster was okay. It wasn't that bad. I just hate how lazy Black Ops 4 was and just <laughs> how they the game wasn't ready to be launched. They were competing with, what was it, Red Dead Redemption 2? Yes, so that's what it was. Earlier and then the zombies was just broke and nothing worked. And and they, like, fired uh, Jason Blundell, I think, in the was middle he, of it. He might have just they? left. I think he might have just he left. He might have left. It was about time for him to leave anyway, and that was just the final yeah. nail in the coffin, and then zombies was dead. <laughs> kind of. And then zombies just... It's not in, like, a terrible board. state, because, like, Smith Plays is still making videos on it, which I watch. Mm-hmm. Which I'm happy, thankful for that he finally, like, which is bad. I shouldn't talk crap on Fortnite, but like Fortnite, in my opinion, I love it, but like it's ruined a lot of games. Like, With for like, example, Modern Warfare, Black Ops 4, they all have battle royales, all have battle passes now, you know? Yeah. 
the battle pass. Just because what yeah, for? No one it. asked for a battle pass in college. Right. You don't want a battle Honestly, pass. like who's gonna buy a Call of Duty battle pass? Man. Oh, like, the thing about Fortnite is you could be like funny with it and like have like awesome skins, but in COD you can't like have a fish stick skin in COD. Right. I mean, you could uh, maybe, but <laughs> the fish stick skin. Come on now. <laughs> maybe actually, okay, actually, Classic. but if they did release a fish stick skin in COD, I would probably buy it. Is the problem? Because <laughs> it's just such a rare thing. <laughs> God dang it. But anyways, honestly, I yeah, don't ask for that. Yeah. Who knows? Well, that was that was on goals. Huh. Was they're, it? They're really that was that was our channel goals. We went from that to COD and you know, are you hyped for Black Ops <laughs> Five? I am. I definitely am. I, I don't want it okay, so here's my thing. I don't want it to be Black Ops Five. Yeah. I want it to be Treyarch, yes. but like everything is doing like that with like come on, like Xbox One, Xbox One X, PS4, like yeah, iPhone X, you know, everything just like does the next name like black ops 5 i don't understand why they can't just be like a new one because they already got their like brand name they got the name established if it's black ops people are going to want to buy it yeah it's fair which is why they're probably going to end up calling it black ops 5 maybe but like from a business standpoint that'd be the smart thing to do to make money but Mm -hmm. like to please the fan base you might just want to start fresh did you ever play left for dead no i didn't oh left for dead's amazing <laughs> just really, so you know real quick i really only played like cod minecraft and all the like big games really growing up i guess i didn't really yeah. branch out that much mm-hmm. so yeah I don't really but uh what are we talking games. about black ops 5 i'm definitely excited for it yeah me too and if it sucks i think Cod should take a year off and come back in 2022 yeah or i hope yeah. i hope that treyarch whatever they do with zombies because i feel like they have to have a zombies map i feel like whatever they do i hope it's a better like storyline than chaos was because Victus was okay, but like, mm-hmm. I want something like they're gonna have to start. For, yeah, they're ultimate. kind of they're in a difficult spot right now. I think they really are starting fresh. Yeah, <sighs> but they need they need to find some way to like make it as good as Primus and Ultimus were. You know? Yeah, and that's that's gonna be very difficult. Yeah, that story it will. Like, it can't be matched. Like, there's never gonna be anything like that again. But because like it, it was insane how complex it was. Yeah, man. Yeah. How many time yeah. jumps? How many different blood vials? You know, yeah. <laughs> just all this random stuff. Like the good thing Black Ops Five has got going for it is like my expectations are honestly very low for the game after Black Ops Four. <laughs> just, honestly, Black so Ops Four that, is so that, bad. I just, <laughs> I just that, I I, I, that's one thing they got going for them. <laughs> <laughs> they expect, <laughs> nobody expects it's anything. Because like we just got Black Ops Three and we're, that game was so good, and then right. we wanted the same thing from Black Ops Four and we didn't get it at all. And now. And now we don't. I don't know. know I feel like in, in in the meantime, <laughs> what, what, like what was it? It was Black Ops Three, then Infinite War, I think. Yeah, it's something like that. And then yeah, Infinite Warfare. What did you think about World Infinite Warfare Zombies? It was really good. It's so underrated. It I really was the zombies so much. Did you like World War Two Zombies? No, I put, the not first map was good, and then after that, I just I just fell off. The DLCs. Were what about good. Advanced Warfare Zombies? Uh I actually loved it. That's the thing is we were all hyped because we all wanted zombies like from every uh-huh. COD and then in the end that kind of hurt us because then we got zombies every single year and it got old. Right. But yeah, I was probably hyped for it just because it was zombies from somebody else that's not Treyarch. Like I could go back uh-huh. and play all the Advanced Warfare maps and have fun right now. But yeah. Honestly. Anything that's like old I could go back and play. Like but the yeah. exosuits. They actually had a decent storyline going too. Like it yeah, wasn't that bad, ever, but it wasn't No, they Treyarch. probably didn't finish it though. I guess, I kind of knew what was going on. Not really, but yeah. They had some really good maps, actually, like the the ship map carrier, whatever. That was that's fun. That was really good. That the wonder cool weapon one. on that map is really fun. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thing that shoots laser beams and cuts their ankles off. But yeah. <sighs> yeah. What would you say is your favorite gaming console? Ooh, that's that's the big question. I have a lot of memories on a lot of different ones, but like mm. probably probably Xbox One, which is sad. Oh. I feel like that's such a like a sad <laughs> oh, opinion. God. <laughs> oh, the Xbox well, One is just gross. I hate, I hate it so much. The 360, if you would have said that. I'm, mine's a 360 like, for sure. But see, like like I said, like I got the Xbox 360 for the first time like two years before the Xbox One came out, and I got an Xbox One. So I've had more gaming experience on an Xbox One. Yeah, that's why, yeah, that's why I, I said it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's why I got the 360. I just, yeah, I just used to grind it, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, Here's one for you. It's pretty much just nostalgia. Favorite video game of all time? Oh, man. Minecraft is the best game, but COD is... It's a hard one. I mean, like, Minecraft is the best ever, but, like, I don't know, man. Just because there's so many installments of COD, I think it beats Minecraft. Minecraft? Yeah. Oh, that's tough. But I love Minecraft. Minecraft Minecraft is so good. and It really is. When's Minecraft going to get old? When is it going to be time for a sequel? (laughs) Imagine a Minecraft sequel. 
Yeah, when's it when's it gonna come out though? I wonder. I just love the idea of like being thrown into something and like surviving. It's really cool. I don't even know how you can improve Minecraft. It's already you can just do really whatever you want. It's like <laughs> I perfect. Know, I don't know what Minecraft number two could bring. But like, I don't know. I wonder if Minecraft's gonna still be the same in like forty years. We'll just we won't have the sequel yet. <laughs> I'd love like an RPG aspect of Minecraft, kind of like Minecraft Story, not that you know, like an open world type. Mm-hmm. I just love RPGs. I remember you like weren't that big of a fan, right? No, I'm not. <laughs> no. Yeah. Wait, what are some examples of like RPG games? Like Fallout, Red uh, Dead, I think is one. Um, Legend of Zelda. I don't know if you heard of that. Yeah, um, I've heard of all of them, but I've never played any of them. So yeah, I'm not. Skyrim. A big fan. Never played it. <laughs> wow. I'm so, like, um, I just caught in Minecraft, and I just play the big, big name games pretty much. Yeah, that's, that's really fair. all I ever played I, for some reason. Sure that's those, not bad though. Sure, those games would be fun, but yeah, they are. They definitely are fun. All right, well, we're at an hour and 45 seconds, so... You think that's about it? Should we wrap this thing? Like, all the other ones have been an hour and one minute long. So, like, we should probably wrap it up, huh? So, yeah, and, like, if, <laughs> if this goes for an hour and two minutes, I'm just going to be disappointed looking at it. They all have to be okay. an hour and one minute long now. Which is probably... All right. I probably shouldn't want to constrain my time, but... We're, we've covered pretty it's much okay. everything, haven't we? We did. Yeah. We, we can have we you back on in a couple of weeks to see how we're still doing, if you want. That'd be great. That'd be great. But yeah, that's well, been anyway. Awesome. Thank you for having me on. Yeah, thanks for coming on, dude. That was awesome. Like once again, he time. just commented down in the comments. He said, "Get me on," so I got him on. If anybody else wants to do the same, I'll get you in here. It was great. But uh, thanks, dude, and best of luck in your Anyways, future yeah. endeavors with the YouTube channel. I hope you blow you up, dude. Hope, hopefully, you do too. Hopefully, we do together. It'd be cool. Yeah, dude, that'd be so special. Like the Smith plays and Mr. T Lex fight. That that'd be awesome. Ooh, that would that'd be, be great. If, was, if we were a duo <laughs> like that, that'd be awesome. That'd be a dream. Okay, we're, we only got thirty seconds, so thank you guys so much for okay. watching. If you want to be a guest, comment down below. That was a good episode, man. Like that was jam packed full of everything. Wow. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Anyways, and yeah. Thank you all for listening. Sminify Podcast, Episode 6. Come back next week. Peace out.